What's good with y'all again? Y'all already know what it is, man. Y'all already know what it is, man. We back with another video. Back in the park. Back doing our thing. Back doing whatever you want to say we're doing. You know what I'm saying? So basically, I wanted to come on here and talk. I wanted to come on here and talk to y'all about something, man. So basically, I made a video like this before, but I didn't go into depth about it. You know what I'm saying? I wanted to explain how an upper affects a jump shot, you know? Because I said something that was wrong in the other uh, video. My apologies, but you know, saying I learned from it. And I'm finna just spit the real knowledge. I think I said the base was more important than the upper. And now I learned that the upper is like as important as in probably more important than the base because i ain't gonna lie you can have a good base but if your upper is trash i played with some cars in my team that had a good base but the upper is trash and the, the jump shot is just not hitting so i come to conclude like if you have a good base maybe that's like okay that's you have a good green window you know what i'm saying but the upper is more like a a, a q you know what i'm saying you gotta have a good q with a good green window you know what i'm saying some bases are better than others some bases offer higher green windows than others and some um uppers have easier cues than others you want to have a base that has a very easy cue because if you don't you'll be trying to guess that green window for hours and if you don't hit the green window guess what you're gonna white and you don't want to white you're not gonna hit the shot you know what i'm saying well sometimes if you white i mean yeah you'll You'll hit some lucky whites, but you're not go you want to green that joint, baby. I ain't gonna lie. If you want to be nice at the game, if you want to be really nice, you're gonna have to green, all right? So I'm gonna tell you how to green, all right? There's to be some good bases in the game. I'm gonna go to the park and I'm gonna use let's say I'm gonna use Dante Exum base. Alright, that's one of the best bases in the game. And I'm gonna put y'all on to a good upper that has a good release, good cue, good visual cue, whatever you wanna call it. So what's another jump shot? I'm greening my first shot. You know, already see, you already see the hand cue. The upper is basically the release point. You know, what I'm saying the hand movement and all that. The base is, I really don't know, but it says lower, so the base might be just how your jump shot, how you just jump. Look, I use Ray Allen base. I use Ray Allen upper. All oh, let's just say that, okay? When I switch it and use like a hybrid jump shot with a different upper, you know, same base though. The only difference is, you know, what I'm saying. The upper, the upper body, like, really bases just has everything to do with your legs. The upper is the arm, the arm movement and everything, the legs, whatever, whatever it is, you know what I'm saying? Legs is base, arms is upper. That's why they call it base upper, base upper. So, you know what I'm saying? You gotta have, you gotta have a good base and a good upper. So, I ain't gonna lie, you cannot just go out with, um, what? What I say, what I say before, Ray Allen base and Shaq upper. You can't do that. I ain't gonna lie. It's still gonna be a trash jump shot, but it might be a little better, but it's still gonna be trash. So you see, I hit that right there. You see, the cue is good. I'm gonna tell y'all what it is. I I never showed this on the channel before. I just wanted to make sure y'all good, man. So of course we playing this game right here. I got on with randoms. This Steph Curry looking guy. He was, I go. I, he was cooking. He was cooking me. I left him over for the shot. I didn't believe in it. I was like, okay. My teammates wanted. You know what I'm saying? My teammates was alright. I ain't gonna lie. Except that. You know what I'm saying? Except that that was trash. But this was the beginning of the game. I was warming up. You see, I already hit a couple of shots. So I already established that I'm well. I water. I ain't gonna lie. So they gonna pass me the ball. They better pass me the ball. I'm always the inbounder. I'm always inbounding the ball, bro. What is it? I got, I, yo, I swear, like, I'm the same height as people, but I stay inbounding the ball. Like, I, I stay playing center. So, I shoot a little half core one like this. I got the cue down. Actually, I didn't even go to the little pro arena. I just made the jump shot and hopped on the court. I'm not gonna, I'm a demon for that. I'm a demon for that. And I just started greening. Like, this was the first game I played with the jump shot, and I was greening. I ain't gonna lie. So, this guy is lagging. I don't even know what's going on. He's just selling his teammate. He's moving back. But he's playing fine now on defense. I don't understand it. He just wanted to sell. But maybe his controller died. <laughs> that's probably the, the, that's probably the explanation. His controller just died. I'm trying to hit him with the stop and go movement. Look, at they trying to help. I'm gonna just take that down right down. I'm gonna just take that down. Cause this guy, I don't know how he's moving, but the way he was moving, I was like, I, I could just get a, I can get some quick off if I just move, like use my stop and go. So I have takeover right now. I'm not gonna use it. This Steph Curry guy, he's trying to carry the team. I ain't gonna lie. He think he's nice. Activate my takeover. That means I'm about to take over. He gets stripped right there with the Curry. He coming down. He's the yo. He hits that. I ain't, he greens that. 
You green in that, my boy. All right, you trying to go? You trying to go head to head with me? I like it. I like it. Let me see the ball, man. Let me see the ball. Let me do something. Let me do something real quick. Behind the back, Curry. Ugh. I'm trying to find. I'm trying to find anything I can. You know, what? I'm gonna just take the dunk. Cause I'm not trying to lose this game. I'm. Not, I'm not trying to lose this game. I'll just take the dunk for now, and we are gonna get a stop. I ain't gonna lie. I know I got takeover, but we still got. We still gotta win the game. You know what I'm saying? And nobody could guard that Steph Curry guy. You know, I wish I was on him, but I'm not. So we gotta. I gotta play it safe. I gotta play it safe. This jump shot was nice. I ain't gonna lie. First time using it, and I was cash. The Steph Curry thought he was nice. Passed the ball. You can't trust your teammates, though. You can't trust your teammates. Take the shot yourself. You always gotta take the shot yourself, man. He's trying to get a little fade off right here. He actually greens that. Like, bro. He knows his release. I gotta give him that respect. He knows his release. I ain't gonna lie. Fading too. Like, hey. If I was to fade, I'd probably miss. I don't take fades, but it's all good. We get the dunk back. You know what I'm saying? All we got to do is hold them to anything but a three. They are, they already, they already messing up on him, bro. They already messing up. They're lucky he missed that, actually. He got shot created to take over. I haven't seen people, like, abusing the fade since patch two, bro. Like, that was day one, and people are going back to it. I'm seeing more and more people fade lately. Unless this is the same douchebag I went against in my team who just faded on me with LaMelo Ball, bro. I don't think it's the same person, though. I ain't gonna lie. This guy gotta be the only person still fading. So I took that shot, and I missed. Now I'm gonna hit with the stop and go. Shoot it again. You already know I got take, so I'm not gonna miss twice. 18 points, right? I can't even see. Is that 16? Yeah, that's 60. I'm tripping. I'm big tripping. He takes that shot right there. You already know that's going to break. 20 to 13. All right. It's time to go. All right. I'm sold. I'm almost sold. Hey, just end the game, my boy. I already know you're going to do it. So do it. So I can show these guys the jump shot. 16 points on pretty good efficiency. So y'all yeah, can see the upper I have on here is Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant and Dante Exum base. Now, I'm not showing y'all the jump shot so y'all can go use it. I mean, if you want to go use it, be my guest. But I'm just showing, you know, I'm just showing this to y'all. Just to show y'all the upper, I mean. <laughs> Kobe Bryant's a pretty good upper. Like, if, I, if I'm going to show y'all guys a jump shot base, I got to show y'all the good upper too. Because upper is just as important as the base, bruh. And I ain't going to lie. One of the best bases in the game is Dante Exum. And I'ma just mark we, what we got. What we got so far? John Wall and Kobe Bryant is one of the best uppers. I I, I keep forgetting like 102, 102. Release 102 is too. Release 102. John Wall and Kobe Bryant, one of the like the few best uppers in the game to use. Only I'm just going off of the visual cue because you know that's all you can really go off of when you're making like a jump shot and trying to pick out an upper cue. Uh, upper uh release that's good. Just go off the queue, you know what I'm saying? So, all those releases I named just has a very easy release point, a very easy to time, and all that. Y'all already know what I'm. Y'all already know what I'm trying to say. So basically, I want y'all to use this in the part. You know, not the whole jump shot, just the upper, man. Just the upper. Get a good base that you're using, you know what I'm saying? And just put Kobe Bryant upper release and tell me if it's wet, man. Leave it in the comment section too. I'm out, man. See y'all in my next video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff. And yeah. <laughs> yeah. Word.